Beth of Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning La, La Land. We are so excited to welcome the creative team behind the creatress and award-winning festival favorite, Jason and Liliana. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. First of all, congratulations on the massive success. What do you think it is about this movie that's resonating with audiences worldwide right now? I think it's the... <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, Jason. Um, I think it's the... It's, it's a unique story. Um, it's a drama comedy, but it's not the usual type of comedy that you see. Uh, it makes audiences think because it mixes fantasy with reality. And as an audience, you have to figure out what is really the reality within the story and what is the fantasy. So it makes people even want to watch it twice or three times to really get the message. What's the premise of the movie? Well, it's about a writer who's following up her best-selling debut with a novel that is not so well received. A critic, played by Peter Bogdanovich, hates it so much and hates what she stands for that he writes a fake memoir just to ruin her career. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and she's a writer who's aspiring for more, you know, because there's, there's been so much that's been written out there uh, that it's hard to come up with something that's, like, new and important and worth people's time. I mean, there's just so much content out there. And that's a big problem for an author who's aspiring to be at the top. And that's mm -hmm. the, uh, the author's name is Aaron Bello in the movie. It's played by Lindy Booth. And so she has to unpack all of this within the context or within the time frame of 100 minutes for the movie. And the and audience she literally wants to pull her hair out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and uh... tell us about the cast. Uh, the cast. I mean, we had Lindy Booth, we had Peter Bogdanovich, like I said, and then you can see Fran Drescher on screen. Uh, it was it, really, really blessed. And then even beyond those three, uh, we had a lot of very uh, big, just big talent that we were really blessed with with the film. Yeah. Yes, we also have um, Kayla, Kayla Ewell from Vampire Diaries, and she was great to work with as well. So that was fun. Love that. I gotta say, as an author, I definitely resonate with the plot because I've literally been to like books a million, walked in and be like, what am I thinking writing a book? <laughs> yeah. and like literally millions of books. Have you experienced that as, you know, sort of filmmakers and, you know, creative folks? Have you experienced that yourself and how do you get through that? Yeah, of course. I mean, like, if you trace, like, the evolution of, like, styles of books going back to, like, you know, start with Pride and Prejudice, go back further than that. But then, you know, turn of the 20th century, you have a lot of, like, the postmodern type stuff where you have, like, James Joyce coming in and I'm, I'm going to reinvent the form. Well, you know, that's kind of like the challenge where it's the same thing with music. Music is always evolving. You have the next style, the next style. Well, what, what's the next style of book? And I think that's what this, I think that's what this author is looking to do. And then us as the filmmakers come in like, well, how do we make that journey identifiable? And so what we did is we crafted a movie that's more of like an, an experience of, you know, trying to fight that fight rather than just a traditional three act story. Oh, I love, I love that. that. Yeah. yeah. I'm already sold on that. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle so, is real. It is real. Yeah, right? yeah. So the movie yeah. is available August 27th. Yes. Tell everyone where they can watch. Everywhere. Yes, yes, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, well, worldwide distribution. Yes, yeah. yes. It's going to be available as a limited run in theaters um, in the U.S. and then opens in digital platforms everywhere, U.S., Canada, and then international territories into September, October. We actually look into opening theaters in the U.K. and England at the end of September as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start expanding beyond the U.S. and Canada after exciting. August. And in the meantime, is there a place that can follow the creators on social media? Yes, it's at uh, the creators movie, the creatress, the creatress movie um, on social media. They find us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so Great much. Great job, you guys. Yeah, awesome. yeah. thank you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.